Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here and to another open with me. And this one is for um, Simply Knitting. And I can feel that there are some freebies in there. It does have a tear, but I don't think it's big enough for anything to have escaped. So while I'm opening this up and getting in, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Hopefully you'll be notified when new videos pop up. So what have we got in here then? Oh, this is kind of cute. Sheep needle point protectors. They're pretty sweet, aren't they? I might have to use those. And then we've got the sheep collection, which we'll put to one side for now. We'll have a look at the magazine. So we have stylish treats for baby. Um, best ever winter patterns. 387 gorgeous design and ideas, a lace shawl collar cardigan. Um, I don't know what that is for cosy homes. Is it a bolster cushion maybe? We have fair isle for him, Rowan shawl pattern, mini master classes, readers knits, expert Q&A. We've got this woolly pulley that is knitted in size 10 to 22, obviously that's UK sizes. Vintage chevrons for kids. Okay, so we'll move it over this way a little bit and have a little look inside. So we've got the usual hello page, which we won't bother with. And then we've got the contents. Now, can't really see this design too clearly. Um, I'm not sure if that is uh, just a wall hanger. I'm not sure. We'll get When we get to that, we'll see. We've got another uh, pullover. We've got a bit of baggy sleeve, so I'm not keen on baggy sleeves. That is a bolster cushion. We've got a pocket shawl. Never seen a knitted pocket shawl, only crocheted. We have another shawl scarf wrap thingamajig. We've got a tissue box and we've got a knitted kind of toy. It goes over something, but I'm not sure what it is. And another pull over there. Subscriber, um, subscribe and get a Sirdar kit bundle worth £43. That's there. We'll have a look at that when we get closer to it. So this is our gifts to you this month. Sheep needle point protectors and sheep pattern book. Okay, so we've got a little bit about what's in it. Um, now, we won't go on too much. We'll have a look at it at the end anyway. Wish list, what's there? Shopping events, inspiration, people and views. Okay, so this is intricately detailed. Um, the architecture of Barcelona. The, oh, my, my glasses have steamed up there. Must have got excited about the thought of Barcelona. Been there. Went there once. Very kind of Gaudi inspired. Okay. So these are all things to find out and about. And um, what I'm looking for is anything that would interest us. Maybe like a book or something. We've got socks, yarn bowls. That's twelve ninety nine from Flying Tiger, that yarn bowl. Not that cheap, is it? Um, yarn kind of bits and pieces. North Road Knits. So there we go, really. And then we just go on a bit of an advert again. There's a cost book. I've got five adverts so far, maybe more. This is called Iced Flowers. It was on the front cover. It's actually quite pretty. Um, I like that. I like the pattern a lot. And the fact that it's got different sleeves. I quite like that too. So, yeah, I like the neckline. Well, hey, one I like all the way through. And it covers a multitude of sins around the tummy and bottom. Not bad at all. So it goes in a size 10 to 22. So I don't know what that is in the US unless they um, ever print that, you know, conversion. I know that my size in America makes me look an awful lot thinner than I am. That's all I do know about the size difference. Okay, we've had enough of that one. So this is the reader's pages where you can write in and show your makes and and stuff. Um, yeah, looking, I haven't seen one single book yet. Um, ultraviolet, dreamy kid silk haze yarn turns a simple striped shawl into a luxurious accessory you'll love wearing by Anna Hull. It's a gem.
from Rowan. This does look quite nice. There's all the, the pattern there. It's not very intricate pattern. It's only on one page. Advert. More adverts. But for other magazines this time. Vintage Inspo. It does actually have a vintage look to it, don't you think? Um, it does really. If I look at that, it would look like something from my childhood, which is weird. But this is age 4 to 13 years. Bright zigzags in bold retro colours create a stunning warm knit for kids by Sean Brown. Maybe it is the colours that date it. I don't know. I thought it was the kind of bulky sleeves and stuff. So what co what sizes do we have there? 4 to 5, 12 to 13. So yeah, quite a good size range, I guess. And a few adverts of absolutely nothing much at all. Get a Sardar kit bundle when you subscribe. So basically, um, what do you get? Because um, I don't know if you get six balls of yarn or that's two from there. So you will basically get enough to make a hat or a scarf. So, yeah. Although they say it's worth £43, I guess that's because it's rowing yarn. And that's not cheap by anyone's um, measure. Get your gorgeous Sirdar hat and scarf bundle worth £43. Save 36% on the shop price and spread the cost. Only thirty four ninety nine for every six issues by direct debit. Usually £54.40. Um, two fabulous gifts per issue. And never miss an issue. Well, I guess they do give you two gifts. I got two in this one, didn't I? So this one's called Casual Tweed. This is by... I can't say it properly, so I just call it Sheepies because uh, I've got my own rules. Sheepies Terrazzo creates a gorgeous mottled effect that adds a wonderful heritage look to your knits, just like Sean Brown's jumper. So, yeah, there you go. That's this particular one. And you've got a chart. Do love a chart, as you all know. And we've got extra small up to a 4XL. As again, you know, I guess that's the same sort of size worldwide isn't it book of the month knitted scarves and cowls okay so it's 14.99 by fiona gobel so i've noticed recently that the books have gone up again before christmas you could pick up books of that well the books they were pushing um were all around the 10 pound mark um and they'd gone of 10 12 something like that They've now started creeping up to £15 again now. Because it says fourteen ninety nine, but come on, that's £15. Okay, decorate a drab wall with your very own bear. Buddy. Nicola Valigi's ingenious wall hanging is packed with fluffy features. I'm not keen on wall hangings, as you know. If you've watched my channel for a, any length of time, you know I always diss the wall hangings. I'm not a wall hanger. The only time I ever do anything like that is Christmas. You know, when you put wreaths up or stuff. But um, I'm not one for decorating the house with stuff dangled um, anywhere. Lend a hand, baby beanie and baby mittens. Is it just the beanie? It would be called lend a hand, surely. If you only have... It's just a hat. It should be lend a head, surely. Lend a head, not lend a hand. Okay, this is called Evergreen, fabulously draped and easy to wear. This weekend thrown on adds a little warmth to your country walks by Sylvia Heidinger. It's kind of nice, I like it. I'd have to make it longer if it were for me. About the same length as the shirt. That's my length of things. Don't do cropped. Not anymore anyway. Those days are long gone. This is a 10 to a 24, so a very, very good size range. But, um, yeah, not long enough for me. Another magazine advert there. Now, this is a tea cosy. Oh, my God. I couldn't work out what the uh, thing was on the front cover because it didn't show it that way round. And where is it? I can't even see it now. Maybe it was on the inside page. Where were we? Yeah. Oh, I can see the handle now on the spout. Because it was a small picture. Yeah, okay. He's dynamite. This utterly rawsome tea cozy, cozy even, has stepped right out of the Jurassic period to help with your cuppa. By cozy... 
Tea Cozy Folk. Tea Cozy Folk made this. Okay. Tea Cozy Folk. Never heard of them, but got a lot of um, instructions on it. So this is the bolster cushion. Well, I guess that's what I call it, but I don't think they have. Block out the winter chill and save on your fuel bill with this super simple stash busting draft excluder. I do like it though, it's quite snazzy. Um, good idea. I've got a bit of a draft on the door here. Actually, the one in the kitchen. Sorry, you sorry saw me scratching my hand there. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, this is my favourite page in the whole magazine. I do love a crossword and a Sudoku, so that is my bestest page. So you can get three issues for nine ninety nine when you subscribe today. That is an offer worth having um, if you can get out of it afterwards and you don't want, you know, to, to stick it out. But that isn't bad, three for nine ninety nine because nine ninety nine will get you one in a shop. So, yeah, you can get three, three issues. There's how to do it if you want them. This is a pay play puzzler. Pretty colours and squishy shapes provide hours of fun for babies with Amanda Berry's cube toy. So, yeah, I used to make lots of stuff like that when I was young. All the kind of toys and cubes and books and caterpillars and stuff like that. I haven't made anything like that um, for many, many years. What's this? Oh, these are the digital ones. Digital magazines. Knitting know-how. Okay, moth munchies. I opened my drawer of yarn the other day and a moth flew out. Ooh, gone through it all and the only things I've, they've chewed on. What's the best way to keep moths away from a stash? I've never heard the like of that, have you? Ever had moths in your stash? Good job I don't, about the size of my stash. Okay, so moving on. This is called Sunday Stroll. This soft wool and nylon yarn mix makes a warm and cosy matinee set that's perfect for weekend walks with baby by Sarah Hatton. When I was young, <laughs> I always want to, the Beatles song pops into me. When I was young, matinee jackets were everywhere. Um, knitted, crocheted, you could find patterns for matinee jackets. They really just went out of vogue for, for cardigans and nobody wanted the matinee jacket anymore. But it seems that they're starting to pop back in. So that's that one. It's quite nice, actually. Um, I didn't ever knit them. I used to crochet them a lot. Missed an issue. This is your back issue page. Getting near the end. We've got frosty blues. I do love a blue. So, yeah, I have had um, Signet Silk Arrest and the stripes. And this is, um, I have had it sent to me as a sample with a view to stocking it. But as you all know, I've been making some room in the yarn van to um, stock more yarn. Um, or more types so I've kind of been concentrating on that for now but I have had this it's a lovely soft yarn recommended price is £3.50 for 100 gram the King Cole Baby Glitz um, 100 gram and what's the price where's it gone oh £3.79 um, not as soft I would say I can't say I've not tried this Cotton Metalese DK from Rico. £2.99 though for 50 grams, so dearer. The Sheepy Scrumptious, I've only had the colour, not the, not the scrumptious, £2.55 for 100 grams. I have trouble stocking Sheepies in my shop. I've got some, but I bought it from abroad and I can't do that anymore. I can't pay the duties on it and keep the cost down. So um, what I've got, I've got. And until I find a UK-based supplier, then um, I won't be stocking them anymore. Um, yarn Smiths Create Baby Aaron, uh, one ninety five for hundred gram. Now that is cheap. Not ever seen that one before. Cascade Heritage Six, quality and versatility. So that's ten pounds for hundred grams. And here we go. I like this. I really do. I mean, I've um, I've never thought of knitting um, a pocket shawl before, but there we go. I like that one. Let winter chills do their worst. Your fingers will be nice and toasty when tucked into the pockets of this colourwork scarf by Claire King. I do like that. That is nice. Probably the only thing that I'd really want to make in the... I don't really want to make much in magazines. I use them for inspiration. It might inspire me to make one, though. Not the same. This is called Crisscross. 
So the sleeves of the pattern were of the other one. The body was the pattern and the sleeves were plain. But this is by Sanamad Kastman. I don't know if I pronounced it right. Um, but she is there. There she is. Lots of charts and stuff on that one. Lots of pages of how to do. So now we've got to the how to knit pages, which is the obligatory bit that we always get. More stitches to master, sewing it up and abbreviations. Um, hook sizes. So we've got hooks and needle sizes and yarn weight conversions. But what would be handy is, well, they're doing all this US to UK if they did the sizes, wouldn't it? If they, I mean, the actual garment sizes. That would be handy. They're, they're doing everything else, but they're not doing that. So in the next one, we have block colour cardigan, fully lined project bags, cute puppy love, kids jumper, brickwork jumper for him and a Valentine's toy, cute cat and dog, wash, oh, sorry, stash buster, checked coat, where I got the W from, uh, hot water bottle floral gift knit, Rowan cardigan, chevron bobble hat and so much more and we obviously have socks everywhere i tell you what i like this isn't that cool i like him there's the dog and cat though okay so say hello what's this this is just well how to find them on social media and stuff this is the tissue tidy i have to say i quite like that pattern the use of color there that is that is cool i like that and then we've got Cloud Nine. I've I've would stock that, but I'm trying to make space and um I haven't put in an order for King Cole for quite some time. Okay, this is the Sheep Collection Fun Fleece Inspired Knits for Your Family and Home. Three perfect for you uh projects. So we've got an armchair tidy to put your remote control and your knitting needles in. We've got a sheep toy and a sheepy jumper. So that's very cute. Uh, this is by Berger de France, this little jumper. And we've got size six months to three years. And I like it, I've got a chart. Do love a chart, as you know, as everybody knows, because I always say it. This is the fleecy friend. This is the keep your sofa essentials close. And handy with Joe Allport's bar. Brilliant. Arm chair tidy. So I like that. I do. I have to say. Never thought of making one. But to be honest with you, I don't really think I could bear it on my arm chair. Like my arm's on there. Anyway. But it's cute. Nevertheless. And um, what was the last one? Ooh, that was the last one. Have I done two already? Pull over. It did say three, didn't it? Oh, there's the toy on the end. It's just one page. So there it is in its entirety. So what do you think of this issue? There's a couple of things I really like. And I'm definitely going to, if I'm um, going to knit something, I'm definitely going to be using these. Although, as you can see by the hole, it only really supports small needles. But I like those. They are cute. Um, so, yeah, there we are. That is the magazine and the supplement and the gift. So let me know what you think of it. Is there anything that you really like in it? Um, what don't you like? And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Bye for now.